Okay, everybody, we are going to be doing this today. I did this last night at a party and did it live on Zoom. And some people had issues getting in. Let me read you what somebody was saying about how they got in. So I'm sending it out um, via your chat, um, your messenger. That's how I sent the links. I'm probably going to have to get you guys to all send me an email, but um, here's... Uh, da, 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 da. So um, it said, uh, somebody said that she had no problems getting in. It was just the muting of the phone. Um, and what did she say? She opened it and it asked her for her name. And it put me in the lobby until I let her in. So there's that one. And then another person said, there was two links in the message. I'm used to email links. Now I know it was fun. So um, all it's gonna, I think when I got on, it said launch party or whatever, cause I was also a guest. I was also a guest there, but it says something like launch party or join party. Just do that. And then it says join with audio, join with your audio. Um, and then when you get on there, there's a little microphone button on the bottom. At least there was on mine, what I was using. Microphone on the bottom, and then just mute that so that not everybody's talking at the same time. And you should see me. You should see me. All right, so we're going to start with the big bottle. We're going to get this frosted effect on it. So you're going to take your bottle. Mine has a little bit of mist in it because I had it outside last night in my car and it kind of froze. So all you're going to do is you're going to take this one brush that you have with the, um, you're going to see that there's a pearl one and then there's a white one and my pearl is almost out because I used it last night. So grab some more. Where did I put it? It's the pearl. And I'm even going to show you guys. So honestly, these are giant bottles. They're not too big. I mean, they're not too expensive. So this is the Pearl one. Craft Smart at Michael's. Here it says Pearl White. So I'm just going to put some more in there. Okay, so I got my Pearl White. Those are big ones. I get white black, red in those colors. And this is the green that I got. It's also same brand, Craftsmart. As long as it says right there, multi-surface, then you're good to go. So that's what I used. Okay, right now we're gonna take, you put your thumb in the bottle, don't get it stuck. And we're just gonna slowly rotate the bottle around as we paint, go around and around and around. So taking my flat brush, Got some paint on it, and I'm just gonna do this. Nice thin coat. You can see that there's grooves when you do this with your paint. It'll like leave little grooves between each one. Just keep using that paint until it's all smooth. I just keep smooshing it around. Nice thin coat. The one thing with glass paint, you don't try to get the finished thick, um, the thick color that you want all at once because when you go back in and try to go over it it's going to get those thick lines that are left there i don't know if you can see the thick lines that are left on here those lines from between when i do these those will come off when you go to do your next coat or they'll get gummy so just work it while you're at that spot thin it out we'll do a second coat everybody was doing a second coat last night so there is enough to do the second coat so this doesn't have to be beautiful just smooth just smooth it and you can't another thing too with you gotta kind of work a little bit fast get it as smooth as you can as fast as you can because if you wait and it's almost dry it gets gummy and then you get like clumps and stuff. So just get it as smooth as you can, as fast as you can, and move on. Walk away from it. You fix it up on the second coat, all right? 
promise it will fix up. I don't care if I have brush strokes in mine. It doesn't matter in the grand scheme of it. So we're going to try to keep that up a little higher for you guys. And then I'm just going to do the same thing, go all the way down one section of the bottle. Just trying to get rid of all those little lines that I've created from all of the paint. Just smooth and drag them along nice and long. Till it meets with the neck. And you'll see right now, I just touched the neck and it's really gets sticky right where I was working on the neck. Tilt this down a bit more. Oh, there we go. That's a better angle. We never frosted the um, the drinking glasses. Left those plain. Just frosted the bottle because this is going to have the lights inside of it. Keep going in the same direction. Awesome, that paint. The lines aren't going away. Touching lightly with it, that helps. Too much stuff in my way. So you can. Um, pause me, finish your bottle off, first coat, um, and then fast forward and then come back to me. I'm working so fast on this. You're going to take your time and it's going to look way better than mine looks. I'm just going super fast so that I don't, my video doesn't go too long. All right. Let's smooth this nice and around. I just want to have a working surface to show you guys. You're going to do your whole entire body, body, <laughs> bottle. It's starting to dry and get gummy. So if you want to put a second coat on, blast it with a blow dryer. You're going to blast it with the blow dryer so it's like super dry. ahead if you want to do a second coat go ahead and do a second coat I am not going to do a second coat on it what I am going to do is I'm going to put this to the side and we are going to go and work on the wine glass now so I'll try to make sure there's nothing behind this wine glass so you get a good view of it the wine glass we're just doing one tree down the center and then some so, some snow. So I didn't go right to the tip because uh, if you go right to the tip, that's where you're going to be drinking. So just leave it a little. Maybe you want to have a star, so you're going to leave room for that. 
So I came down just as it curves around, stop right at that curve, and then we're going to do snow through that little curve to the stem. And when you look inside, that's what you're going to see the snow. All right, so let's get started. I have a much bigger glass for that. Look at the size of this one compared to that one. So it's a bigger image. I am going to bring that up a little bit. It's hard to see, isn't it? It's hard to see. Let me put this inside. This is another way because you might get the 3D kind of effect and it's going to be hard to see what you're doing. So you could shove in a paper towel. I'm still taking this big brush, this big brush that we have. And we're going to go in vertically, straight up and down. We're going to draw a line straight down. And then I'm going to show you how to make your tree long and funky and what not to do. Let me show you what not to do. Oh, I guess I'm going to need some more green. You all have the baking instructions too. I'm going to show you those again. Oh, this needs to be shaken up. Did that go all clear in there? Sure did. Oh, shoot. Missed the container. Oh, brother. I got paint all over my tablecloth. Interesting. Anyway. Oh, that's nuts. Okay, I'm going to show you on a piece of paper how the tree goes. Let's move that for a second. I'm going to do it. Oops, that's not what you want to see. Here we go. So, I am going to take some green on my thing. My tree is going to go... Painting from the side. Hopefully it's just a straight up and down. So I'm taking the brush and I'm going straight in vertically and I'm going to draw a line straight down. Then I'm going to use the corner of the brush and just making these marks. See how they're coming down and they're getting a little wider. They can even go down a little bit more. What I don't want you to do is this. See the difference? You're going to end up having this. So I'm going to do this side, wrong side, right side. So I'm just doing a series of these. Start with just a few like that. And then come down. Until it's just a little bit wider at the bottom. And then just sort of go back in. And you're going to keep playing with your paint and playing with your paint because it's going to be thin and you're going to have those thick trowel lines, but you're going to get that shape. So the, and then you'd go to the other side and you're going to do the same thing there. So coming down, 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 down. And then you're going to just keep doing those. You're going to have to dip more than I'm dipping because I'm working on paper. So it's a little simpler. It will not be this thick to start with. It's going to look terrible. First coat. The rule with glass paint is don't try to create the full thick, nice green image that you have there, the finished product. You're going to have to do it in two or three shots. So that is what your tree is supposed to look like when it's done. Let me show you how weird it is when it's not done. So drawing my line, I'm going to start here and come to as it goes. Of course, I can't see because it's that vertical effect. So I'm going to throw that in there. Is that a good angle for you guys? I'll move it up just a bit. Move it up a bit. All right. So here's my angle. I'm going to the side. Drawing my line just as it starts to come down the corner and I stop. Taking the corner of my brush. Oh, 
Now you can make this wider after. I still have a lot of paint on here, so I'm going to go. I want this to be thin because it'll take forever to dry if I don't. So I'm just taking that paint from the other side and making the shape of my tree. And see how I'm just going to keep using this paint and using this paint until I make it a nice thin, it'll be see-through, like really see-through. There's some darker bits here that you don't want because when you go to use them again, it's going to all come off just in those areas. So just keep playing with this, this paint that's on here and getting your shape. And remember, we're putting white over top of this as well, so... This is just your first coat. Maybe you want it just a little wider at the bottom, then just make it a little wider at the bottom. All right, so there's your tree. It's horrible. It's supposed to be horrible. Wash off your brush. And we're going to go into the white. Um... Actually, what you're going to do, you guys are going to do, you're going to do this on here. You're going to do this on your other glass. And we're just going to keep hopping around between the three. And that gives you drying time. So while you're working on your other one, this one's drying. This one, your bottle, should be almost dry. If they're not, quickly blast them with the um, blow dryer before you start. So we don't use the pearl white anymore. That's done. We're just going to use white white. So now you've moved to your second glass. Pause me and uh, go do your second glass. And uh, maybe a second coat of frost on your uh, bottle if you want and let that dry. Um, and then come back and we're gonna do the snow. All right, so if you're here now, you've already paused me. You've already paused me, and now you are back painting the snow. So right here underneath this tree, at the bottom of this tree, you're going to go with your plain white. So I'm just going to go where the bottom of the tree is. And as I go around the glass, well, look, so here, here it comes down, and it just goes to the bend here, where it's top of the stem. That's as far as we're going to go. So I take this, and as I'm going, I'm sort of twirling the glass with my fingers and making a weird pattern with the snow. It doesn't have to be straight because it's snow, which is cool. If you're shaky, that's okay. Until it meets with the other snow. And then round here at the bottom, um, right here at the bottom where it meets the stem, just twirl your glass Twirl your glass, twirl your glass, twirl your glass until they meet. And then, oops, take your white and everything in here. This is the first coat. So thin, get rid of the grooves. It just needs to be a little bit messy, but see how thick and all those grooves? Just take and spread this all around. Doesn't have to even be pretty. Right up to the base of your tree. We'll bring some tree over top of this after. Nice thin coat, and we'll let that dry. And then you're going to go do that on your other glass. Nothing neat about this. See how messy mine's looking? You can see brush lines in it. It's all okay. I hardly used any weight for that. But I've covered up all the glass messily covered up the glass nice even coat all right oops that's not supposed to be on there oh, that's on the inside okay so another thing too with this stuff if you, if you made a mistake you can quickly wipe it off even wash it off with water because you haven't baked it yet and start over just a just a little tip there all right i am going to blast mine with a blow dryer because i haven't taken that time yet There we go. 
go. So it doesn't take much to blow dry it and get it going. I am going to go back to my green because at this point I have done my first trees on both glasses, um, my second coat of frost, and probably my tree on here. But I haven't explained the tree to you. But when you get to the bottle, you're going to go like two fingers. That's the snow at the bottom. And then right where it curves here, maybe you're going to go like put your finger on the curve in there. You don't want to go any higher. So between my fingers here on your bottle, that's where your tree is going to be. If you can see in this one. See, you've got two fingers there at the bottom. At the curve, you got like two fingers. And you've got to have room for a star if you're going to put a star in. All right, so that's your dimensions for that. And with this one too, I didn't do snow all the way around. I stopped. I only did the front of this. So the snow's just like right there, and then it stops. All right, Okay, back, and I've got my big brush. I'm doing the green again. Oops, I'll close the white up for a sec because I'm getting messy. Strip mine up because it's a little bit oily. Okay, back to this one. Same thing we did the first time, but now I'm making it and see how much thicker it's getting. If you can see the both sides, you can still push this paint around a little bit. It can go on thicker, but you're going to have to blow dry it before you go to the white. I mean, yeah, definitely before you go to the white. Just play around with that paint. Get your shape now that you want. And if you do the second, once you've done the second coat of white here on your snow, which I haven't, let me just quickly do that. Fill the green off. Open my white. Now this will absolutely wash off if you don't do the baking instructions. So I'm going to go back and right here. It's my second coat of white, so it's going to be good and dry there. So you're going to have a nice thick coat of white there. See what happens if you keep mucking around with it. It will peel it off. You're going to go back in with your green. And you can... Oops, where is it? You can take some green and just... My white is wet, so it's dragging it in. But then you can bring a little bit of green into an overtop of the grass. I mean, the snow. Grass. The snow. All right. So that part is done. Back to your big bottle. You're going to do the same thing on your bottle with the tree. So you're going to draw a line down. And you're going to have your two coats of, see how big and separated I did those? Other side as well. This is just getting the shape of the tree. Nice thin coat. And then I don't, I'm not even going to take any more paint. I'm just going to keep playing with the stuff that I have on there because this first coat is supposed to be thin, right? I'm gonna blow dry. Then I would blow dry that, put my second coat on, and then I'm gonna go into the snow. Oops, into the snow, into the snow. So I'll be going around from here. 
making that bit there and then coming just bringing it past and come down on either side and then I'll fill all that in first coat you do two coats with that and there you have that I'm gonna finish this one off real quick and continue on so that we're showing on this one and then you guys can do it on your glasses so let's We do my second coat here. So at this point, you guys should have done both coats of, of green on your glasses, both coats of white on your glasses. Just keep using the blow dryer in between. Let's find a comfortable way to do this so you guys can see what I'm doing. And now I'm doing my second coat of tree. A lot thicker. Oh, my tree. So it's practically dip in the paint, dip in the paint, come back to the tree. I have to do some center ones. I'm pretending my snow has got two coats and then I'm going to go into the snow a little bit. So it's hanging over the snow. Moving that around inside, get the center part, come down over the snow a little bit. There we go, I got my tree as wide as I want it. I'm going to blast that again because we're going to go into the white after this. Still pretty thick in there. Still pretty thick on there. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Here's where I'm grabbing the pointy brush. And I love this brush. Love it. Or a little brush that I found online. It's not too terribly bad. So this one, everybody liked it better using the snow. Awkward positioning. Um, dip it into your white, your plain white. And you're going to follow along just kind of like that's a lot on there. So I'm not grabbing any more paint than this. And I'm going to just sort of follow along. Tick, tick, tick. Little ticks. Light pressure. And I'm going to grab from that first one that there's too much in there. And I'm going to bring it and make some little tick marks. going to go back to that first one because I'm not completely 100% dry. And then you're going to do some that come straight down too. Not just the sideways ones. But I'm keep working that first bit of paint that I put on. 
and just push it around a little bit. So I'm doing the sideways little tick, 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 ticks. And then go in the center and put a few coming down, straight down a little bit. I've only dipped in the white once. Now it's time to grab just a tiny bit more and go down the bottom here. I'm actually taking it up because, and they can go past, if yours isn't quite wide enough at the bottom of your tree, bring some weight and go past a little bit. Just, if you're going to go back in, just grab very, very little. Paint and go past a little bit. And there you go. So that's the way that your tree will look. Once you've got all the little white, but you're just going to kind of grab it. Just go off to the sides, a little bit to the sides, a little bit straight down. Don't keep putting a whole bunch, bunch, bunch of paint on. If it's too white, you can go back into your green and go over it a little bit with some green and just make it so it's not so dark. So now you're going to do that to your other two wine glasses as well. Um, yeah, so you've got You've got two coats of white for the snow at the bottom of wine glasses and your bottle. You've got two coats of green. Now you're going to go, and we're only going to do one coat of the white, making the snow on those. Um, so once you've got that, pause me. If you haven't got it, pause me right now and catch up because we're going to go into making cardinals. So I'm going to show you how to make a cardinal. If you're coming back, I'll just turn my ball around so i got something to lean on. We're going to go into making a cardinal. Let me... No, that's enough page. That's enough page to do a cardinal. We're going to use the little brush. And I'm going to do it really big here for you guys, and then I'll do one to the actual size. Now, my original has three cardinals on it. You can put one cardinal at the very top as a star. You can just have one off to the side. Maybe you got one more off to the side. I did three inside of my tree. But all the cardinal is is an oval, a circle, and a line. So this may look funny because it's going to be really big, but when it's small, you don't really notice. So here's a body. It's an oval, an egg, whatever. There's the body. Now you're going to start small with the head. So, because if you had a great big head here, it would just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So start with a small head. So you start with a small head and that doesn't look right. So you're just going to take that and then you'll just go around until it kind of looks right. And then here, a line. That's all we did for a cardinal. If you wanted to, you could give him the point on the back of his head. And I don't have any black here. I didn't give you guys black. But if you're going to go to Michael's and you're getting this stuff, you could do black. And let's pretend this green is black. Pretend that the green is black. Then you would do like a little triangle on his face. There. And then a beak. And that's your cardinal. All right. So let me show you what it looks like on the glass now. So here's my done one. So I have three little cardinals, and I did put black on those ones. Three little cardinals sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. But you don't have to have three. So I'm going to turn my bottle around to my tree. And you're going to do this on all of yours. Maybe you only have one on your wine glasses. I don't know. It's up to you. So I'm going to do a little oval anywhere I want on my tree. Little circle. Till it looks right. And then a tail. There you go. Cardinal. Put one over here and maybe he's going to face the other direction. So put his head on this side. And a tail. 
Maybe you want to do it as a star. I don't know. Maybe you just want to have two cardinals in. Put as many as you want. I'm just kind of making them look like they're ornaments. Third one and a tail. There you go. So at the top, you can have a star. I'm going to show you easy star as well. So we're going to make a star. I'm going to do it with uh, red because I have red open. My easy star, and I'm going to go above my tree. So I just did an A above the tree, an A with a line. So it's kind of like the anarchy looking thing. Then from this bottom one here, I went up to the middle and down so it's a little bit of a v there and then i did a v there and a v there and there's my instant star not going to do a red star though i'll do my star in white turn this ball around using the pointy brush not the not the bigger one doing it in the white white not the uh, pearl white because pearl white won't show very well. So do my A. Don't go too big because the star can get really big really fast. And then a line across. Come up, come down, make that into a V. Make that into a V and you have a star. So other than that, the only thing left to do is take the back of your brush, dip it right into your white. Twirling the brush around getting rid of all of that and it's just going to be snowflakes. They can be right on top of your tree too because the snow's all falling around. That is that. All right, let me tell you the baking instructions in case you guys don't have yours. I'll show you how these work as well. Gave you a cork. Your baking instructions read. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to get uh, open your oven up, put the cookie sheet in your oven, drop maybe drop it um, your rack so that'll fit in. You put your cookie sheet in. You're going to set that just like this on the cookie sheet. With this, you're going to turn it upside down. Put it on the cookie sheet with it, both of them. Close the door. Turn it to 350. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Open the door in 20 minutes, turn the oven off, and let them cool there. The thing, if you if you put these on the cookie sheet and put them in the oven, they might fall over and break. If you pull them out when it's hot, they might fall over and break. Just let them cool off. Then you can just reach in with your hand and take them out. Boom, they're ready for washing. You can wash them by hand. Um, this one has been baked, so I mean, it doesn't come off. They don't scratch off. You can just give it a quick wash, put it on the rack to dry. It, it says you can put it in the dishwasher, but I don't want to. I don't, I don't, why risk it? This one here, I mean, you're not really going to put wine in it, so it doesn't matter. This comes with this little um, piece of paper plastic here. You pull that out, that that's the battery touch and then it will go on. You've got your little switch there to turn it on. So, um, and this one too, you can replace the battery. Little screws, comes off, has one of those round flat batteries in. And on one of these sides, here it is, you're just going to start unwinding, unwinding, unwinding. And you're going to just thread that in top of your bottle, sorry, in the top of your bottle. You're going to thread that in. Just keep pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down. And um, then it will be in. Then I shoved the cork in on top of that. So it's in there with the cork. Turn it on. And you got your light-up bottle. Turn it off when you're done. Easy breezy. And that is your lesson today in uh, how to paint with your paints. Just remember, if you're going to go buy anything, multi-surface. It must say multi-surface or it's not going to work. I even had some sparkly multi-surface stuff. They do have some sparkle. Um, just ask them at Michael's. It's not in the section where um, the other paint is, like the Artist Loft paints and stuff. It's when you go straight in, it'll be on the left-hand side and there'll be a whole bunch of these and chances are your 
they're sold out. They have been for weeks. So, but if you see it, grab it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you all get this. Let me know if you have any issues. I'll walk you through it.